Hello, in this video, I want to give an update on toothbrush technology and how it is evolving throughout 2021. My last update was back in quarter one, 21, and I ran through a number of different products that we could expect to see this year. So I'm gonna give you an update on those products and some products that I've tested since then. Now, as you probably realize, technology can come in a number of different guises. Within toothbrush technology, I've kind of got two different paths in my mind at the moment. You've got the sort of smart technology that is built into a toothbrush. So Bluetooth technology, various sensors, where they have links to the smartphone in an application. So you've got that element of the technology. And then you've got the technology which comes down to the actual design and functionality of the toothbrush. So on that side, we have the evolution of the toothbrush as we know it into mouthpiece toothbrushes as they are most commonly known. And that's probably the most exciting trend in toothbrush technology at the moment. Mouthpiece style toothbrushes are aiming to clean more surfaces of the teeth at the same time and to do so um, to a better standard and ultimately help us achieve better oral healthcare routines. Too many of us don't brush for the right amount of time, nor do we use the correct brushing technique. And these mouthpiece style toothbrushes are designed to help with that. It's no easy feat to design these. They've actually been around for a few years, but the products that have existed so far have fallen short of the standards they really need to be at to become an everyday product. But in time, we will get there and it's exciting to see this innovation. And unfortunately, we are gonna to have to go through some products that are essentially not as good as they should be to get to the point where they are good products that we could potentially use in comparison to a regular manual or electric toothbrush. So some of the products I covered in the last video were Willow, Encompass, Tallow Brush and Clean Freak. So as you're probably aware, there have been delays in manufacturing for many products across different categories due to the global pandemic that has been ongoing and this is affecting toothbrushes as well. Put on top of that, you've got new companies trying to innovate and create new products. And unfortunately, many of the products I talked about in the last quarter have been delayed. And in reality, many of these products are not gonna come through until much later this year. So at the time of recording in late May, 2021, Encompass, which was a um, J-shaped half mouth toothbrush that would clean the upper and lower jaw at the same time, so you could brush one side of the mouth and then move to the other side. That has been delayed until early 2022. You also have then Tallow Brush, which was again, a sort of J-shaped toothbrush. It kind of ran on a rail with bristles on, that focused on the upper arch and the lower arch, and it would move back and forth to clean uh, all three surfaces of the tooth at one time, and then you'd move it over to the other side of the mouth. Now, at the time of recording, they say, or have suggested they're still on track for June, but we haven't received any updates for a few weeks, so I anticipate a delay there. How long, I don't know, but I think it's safe to say it's gonna be pushing towards the end of the year. I'd love to be surprised, but I think that's the reality. We then have um, Clean Freak by Dent Freak, and this, again, is a product that is designed to clean all three surfaces of the tooth at the same time, but it's focusing on one arch at a time. So you can start with your bottom, then move to your top. But rather than being a, a mouthpiece that fits to all of the teeth at the same time, the mechanism as such is that it fits the majority of teeth and then it moves. So it glides along your teeth, moving to the back of your mouth, coming back round to the front and then back the other side. And you do your lower arch and your upper arch separately. Now, this was again due to come in around about June time. They've just announced an update and have said um, that it's gonna be delayed until September. So not too much of a delay. So we could be uh, looking to potentially get hands on with that later in the year. Another interesting product was Willow, and that has now essentially launched, albeit in a slightly soft form. So their initial research and testing was conducted with children and those with disabilities where toothbrushing can be um, a lot harder than it is for your average adult. So they are now shipping the units. We haven't yet tested it, um, but it is now being sort of geared towards children and those with disabilities over adults. In time, it will be adapted and be sold for adults, but they're focusing on perfecting the product 
for those particular markets because those are the markets that they feel they can give greatest benefit to. So we hope to get hands on with that soon, but we're mindful that we don't want to uh, review it until such times that it's really ideally suited to uh, an adult so that we can give you the best feedback on the product. Although it's not a mouthpiece style toothbrush, we have also seen um, a new technology in the water flosser market from InstaFloss. This is designed to clean um, both the front and back surfaces of the teeth and in between them at the same time. This has also been delayed till later this year and moving on into early uh, 2022, subject to when you placed your order. It's an interesting looking product. We've got one on order. We will be uh, testing it as we will with uh, Clean Freak and Tallow Brush and Encompass. But again, that has actually been delayed, but they have been keeping us up to date uh, of what's been going on uh, and why there have been delays. And a lot of it is down to the microchips that are needed to actually produce these products. So another product I need to mention is Uno Brush. I've recently tested this. Now I didn't cover this in a previous video because I didn't think I was ever gonna get to go hands on with this product. It was a crowdfunding project some three years ago back in 2018 that never seemed to sort of go anywhere, but it has now come to fruition. The final product is slightly different to the original concept idea. I'm gonna keep this short. It's the worst toothbrush I've ever tested. It's not ready for everyday use. There are so many issues with this product. Just stay well away from it. Um, there's a lot of work that needs to be done by Unibrush to make this a product that could be used on a daily basis. If you were to use this, it poses a significant risk to your oral health. It simply doesn't clean the teeth well enough. The mouthpiece is terribly sized. The bristles are stiff. But as I say, I hadn't expected to get hands on with it. When I did, I was extremely disappointed. It's the worst product I've tried. Even inferior mouthpiece toothbrushes that are cheaper uh, and produced by other companies with a lot less budget have delivered better results than what Uno Brush did. So it's a massive disappointment. However, in some more positive news since the last video update, we have now tested and fully reviewed the Sonicare 9900 Prestige. Now this is a smart toothbrush and kind of falls down that other channel that I was speaking about of toothbrush technology, where you have features built into the toothbrush. Now there's a full video review here on this YouTube channel. I'll link that in the description and the top right corner. And there's a full written review that accompanies that as well. But this is essentially an upgrade on the Philips Sonicare Diamond Clean Smart, which is a very capable electric toothbrush. It cleans the teeth exactly the same with the same sonic cleaning technology. But some of the key differences here is it has a new uh, brush head, which is designed to whiten the teeth, remove plaque and stimulate for healthier gums. And I have to say, I've been really impressed with the results. Um, this sort of all-in-one brush head seems to be the way forward and I really like it, it cuts down on the confusion. And one of the big selling points with the Prestige, it is a smart toothbrush, but it has a visible pressure sensor built in there, has a scrubbing sensor built in, it has five cleaning modes, but you can only have one mode active at any one time. And you have to go into the smartphone application to change that. The brush tracks your cleaning performance in real time, or it also syncs the data offline so you can review it at a later date. But the big thing about the Prestige, and this is where they're using technology to their advantage, is they're trying to focus on better oral care habits. They are building technology in, but the idea behind all of that technology is to make you and I better at brushing our teeth. And I've been really impressed with that. And I do, at the time of recording, believe it is the best smart toothbrush available on the market. It's expensive, but if you really want to optimize your oral health and perfect your routine, it's a very solid option. Also getting a noteworthy mention is the Oclean X Pro Elite. This is a smart toothbrush uh, that has a LED display built into the brush handle. It also has a smartphone application. It doesn't provide the real-time tracking like the Prestige does, but it does have sensors built into the handle that give you some feedback via the actual display post brushing. So you get a good idea of how well you have brushed or not. Um, it's actually pretty impressive because it's a very cost effective toothbrush. It's also the quietest electric toothbrush that I've ever tested. I don't think the technology on the app side is quite as polished as Sonicare, but it's a fraction of the price. So that's well worth checking out. There's a full written review available on the Electric Teeth website and a video review on the channel as well. So there we have it. That's an update on toothbrush technology as it stands. Unfortunately, there's a lot of delays around the uh, mouthpiece style toothbrush technology. There have been these new products, the Prestige 9900 and the Oclean 
X Pro Elite that have come to market since the last update. I think in reality it is going to be right towards the end of the year before we get hands on with some of these other mouthpiece style toothbrushes but obviously we'll give you updates as soon as we possibly can. If you've got any comments or questions please do leave them below. You can also subscribe on the link in the description to our toothbrush technology email which gives you updates as and when we can as well. So until next time, thanks for watching.